said about listening to our young people. Of course, my job is all about listening. And uh, my aim really is to teach the world to listen. That's my only real aim in life. And it sounds quite simple, but actually it's quite a big, big job because, you know, when you, when you look at a piece of music, for example, if I just open my little motorbike bag, we have here, hopefully, a piece of music that is full of little black dots on the page. And, uh, you know, we open it up and I read the music. So, technically, I can actually read this. I will follow the instructions, the tempo markings, the dynamics. I will do exactly as I'm told. And so, therefore, because time is short, if I just play you literally the first maybe two lines or so, it's very straightforward. There's nothing too difficult about the piece. But here I'm being told that the piece of music is very quick. I'm being told where to play on the drum. I'm being told which part of the stick to use. And I'm being told the dynamic. And I'm also being told that the drum is without snares. Snares on, snares off. So therefore, if I translate this piece of music, we have this idea. So on. My career would probably last about five years. <laughs> However, what I have to do as a musician is do everything that is not on the music. Everything that there isn't time to learn from a teacher or to talk about even from a teacher. But it's the things that you notice when you're not actually with your instrument that in fact becomes so interesting and that you, you want to explore through this tiny, tiny surface of a drum. So there we experience the translation. Now we'll experience the interpretation. <laughs> 